Makeover Madness by Samantha Brooke, illustrated by Laura Thomas. It was a very busy day at Lemon Marine's beauty salon. Lemon zipped around the salon, serving her friends tea and painting their nails. Then she shampooed their hair and combed out the tangles. I wish I could work faster, said Lemon. There's so just so much to do. Um, Lemon, said Blueberry Muffin. I think something's wrong. Me too, said Orange Blossom. All of Lemon's friends were giggling. They had very wild hair. I'm so sorry, cried Lemon. I guess I tried to do too many things at once. But don't worry, I can fix everything. When Lemon was done, everyone's hair was perfect. Now why don't we all go for a picnic, Strawberry suggested. Lemon decided to stay behind. My salon needs a bit of a makeover, she said. Okay, said Plum Pudding. We'll see you later. That afternoon, Lemon cleaned her salon from top to bottom. When she was done, she flipped open a magazine. Suddenly, she gasped. What a fruitastic idea, she cried. I can't wait until my friends see this. The next day, Lemon invited all her friends back to the salon. Hey, Lemon, said Plum Pudding. What did you want to show us? This, Lemon said. She pointed to a very strange salon chair. Raspberry looked confused. But what is it? she asked. It's the salon matic said Lemon. It does manicures like magic gives perfect pedicures and styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Who wants to go first? asked Lemon. I'll give it a try, said Strawberry. Lemon pressed the button and the salon matic reared and buzzed. A few seconds later, a bell dinged. Strawberry's hair was very perfect. Wow, said Strawberry as she looked in the mirror. This is incredible. I know, cried Lemon. Now, who wants to go next? Me, 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 Lemon's friends shouted at the same time. A few days later, Lemon called Blueberry to see if she needed a trip to the salon. No, thank you, said Blueberry. Lemon called her other friends. They didn't need a haircut or a manicure either. Later, Strawberry stopped by the salon to visit Lemon. How are you, Lemon? asked Strawberry. I don't have anything to do, Lemon answered. The salon matic did all my work for me. Then why don't you come help me at the cafe? Strawberry suggested. At Strawberry's cafe, Lemon made a bunch of smoothies, but they didn't taste as good as the ones Strawberry usually made. Lemon sighed. Maybe someone else in town needs my help, she said. Okay, said Strawberry. Thanks for the help anyway. Next, Lemon helped teach a dance class at Plum's studio. You did great, said Plum when the class ended. But Lemon didn't think Berry Bitty City needed another dance teacher, so she decided to go home. When Orange and Blueberry went to see Lemon, she was packing a suitcase. Where are you going? cried Blueberry. To Big Bitty City, said Lemon. Since I got the salon automatic, no one needs me. But, Lemon, we, wa we all want you here, said Orange. Don't look so sad, Lemon said. I'll come back and visit a lot. As Lemon walked to the bus stop, Blueberry got an idea. Lemon was waiting at the bus stop when her friends came running up to her. Lemon, how? Plum cried. Oh, look what this... The salon matic did to us, said Blueberry. Oh no, cried Lemon. Quick, let's get back to the salon. Lemon shampooed, conditioned, and blow-dried her friend's hair. Soon, they looked very perfect again. Thanks, Lemon, said Orange. What would we have done without you? asked Blueberry. I wonder what, what went wrong with the salon matic Lemon said. 
Strawberry looked at her friends. They all felt very badly, very badly that they had tricked Lemon. Um, Lemon, said Blueberry, there's actually nothing wrong with the salon automatic What? said Lemon. She was very confused. We gave ourselves crazy hairstyles so that you would stay and help us, said Strawberry. Oh, said Lemon slowly. Well, if the salon automatic really works, then I'm not need needed here anymore. Wait, cried Strawberry. There are lots of things that a gadget can't do. It can't tell you that you look pretty and laugh at your jokes, said Orange. And it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on, Plum added. And worst of all, it doesn't give hugs, Strawberry added. Lemon, we love you for who you are. That machine could never replace you. So, what do you say, Lemon? asked Strawberry. Are you going to stay? Yes, Lemon cried. But I have to do one thing first. What? asked all her friends. Lemon giggled, and then she said, Send this alon matic back. That's the end of this book, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!